Hi everyone, welcome to my Autodesk screencast. My name is Zan Ta and I work for Repro Products in Smyrna, Georgia. I'm an Autodesk certified instructor and hold many certifications in multiple Autodesk products for the AEC industry. I hope you enjoy my screencast. If you'd like to see more of my screencasts, please search for VAR 2015, that's V-A-R 2015, or my name. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up after you watch it. In today's screencast, we'll be taking a look at AutoCAD 2016 and how to create a custom workspace, specifically creating a classic workspace for those who used to uh, are used to working in that old method uh, without the ribbon and just toolbars. This applies to both AutoCAD LT and AutoCAD uh, 2016 full version. Now, initially, if you need to migrate your settings from an older version to the newest version of AutoCAD, um, the way you typically would do it is when you install the newer version, if it sees that you have an older version installed on your computer, it will automatically ask you if you want to migrate the settings. Just click yes and hit OK and let it do its job. <clears throat> If you forget to do this or it doesn't do this, you can go to the Start menu, All Programs, Autodesk, <coughs> excuse me, scroll down to AutoCAD 2016, click uh, Migrate Custom Settings folder, and you can choose Migrate from a previous release. When you do this, a wizard will pop up, and it will walk you through the process of how to migrate those settings. You need to make sure your AutoCAD software is not up and running when you run this migration wizard. <clears throat> However, there will be instances sometimes where the migration wizard doesn't function, especially for the classic, and you need to actually make your own. So this is how we do it. Here I am in, Re in AutoCAD 2016. <coughs> Excuse me. If you look under the drafting and annotation workspace command, you'll see the different ones that are available. And you have three choices here as well. This is actually not where you're going to go to create a classic workspace. You're going to actually type in CUI and hit enter, which brings up the customized user interface window. In this window is where you're going to make one. On the left hand side, upper left quadrant, you'll see workspaces. You can right click any one of those and create a new workspace. Call that workspace classic, hit enter. <clears throat> Upper right hand quadrant, you will click Customize Workspace to customize that particular classic workspace. All the text in the upper right quadrant will go blue, and you now have the ability in the upper left hand quadrant to expand toolbars and put a check mark for the toolbars you want to uh, have visible in your uh, workspace and your graphical user environment. So we can go through and we can check a few, and I'll do standard. And the more you check, the more toolbars will be visible. The less you check, the less will be visible. After you have placed check marks under the toolbars, if you're used to using the old menu pull downs, put a check mark for menus. When you're finished doing this, in the upper right hand corner quadrant, where it says workspace contents, click done. And it will finish the creation of that classic workspace. From there, right-click Classic and say Set Current. <clears throat> Once this is current, hit Apply in the lower right-hand corner and hit OK to get out of the CUI. Now you'll see this and you'll see the ribbon disappears, but it, it's blank. You can just type in the word Ribbon Close, all one word, and hit Enter. That ribbon will disappear. From here, you can take your toolbars and you can move them wherever you want to move them and customize them however you want to customize their placement like you did back in the day. <clears throat> when you're finished, you need to update this current classic workspace. In the upper left-hand uh, corner of your AutoCAD environment where you have the quick access toolbar, it may be visible, it may not be visible. If it is not visible, click this little white arrow and it will expand and make sure there's a check mark for workspace. You'll see classic, expand this, and click save current as. You'll then have a window called save workspace and choose classic again to save the updated changes of the CUI to that classic workspace. Now that you've done this, you're finished. You have a AutoCAD or AutoCAD LT 2016 graphical user environment that looks like the old workspaces. <clears throat> uh, 
Uh, and then if you ever need to go back to the original, just switch back to drafting annotation and everything will go back to its default. And that's it. That's how you customize your graphical user interface with workspaces to make a classic quote unquote workspace. Thank you very much for watching my screencast and please don't forget to give me a thumbs up.